Hey everyone, Zosh here from Zesty.io. I'm glad to share that the improved WYSIWYG editor experience is now here. As part of this update, we've listened to your feedback and made several improvements. This includes an improved toolbar that's been made consistent with other word editors you use on a daily basis. We have also gone ahead and introduced slash commands that allow you to insert in content quickly. And now it's super easy to just select text and format it with our floating toolbar. And we've also introduced an immersive full screen mode. Now I want to show you all of these updates. So let's dive in and see it in action. As you can see in front of me, I already have an article opened up in the Zesty platform. This article was written by me about the Big Four Ice Caves recently and as I scroll down below, you will notice that there's a WYSIWYG editor that we've improved. You'll initially notice that the toolbar has been reorganized a little bit. Your text formatting options and media insertion options and the inserting of lists options are all readily available in the top toolbar itself. Now, there's some content that has already been written by me in this article, but I want to make a few updates. I want to insert a heading right after my first paragraph. And this heading is going to be inserted by me using our slash command menu. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the enter key. I'll type in slash and you'll notice it opens up a searchable menu. Now this searchable menu will allow me to go ahead and insert images, headings, you know, I can insert in bullet lists and so on. But in this case, I just want to insert a heading too. So I'm just going to search for heading two. I'll click on the enter key on my keyboard. And now you can see a heading two has been inserted in. And let's see, I just want to type this heading to as the trailhead, the gateway to beauty. Now I've gone and inserted in a heading tool, but also what I want to do is I want to go ahead and format the first few words of my paragraph to be bold. So I'm going to select this first few words of my paragraph. And as I select it, you'll notice this floating toolbar appears. Now this floating toolbar is going to allow me to bold this text. And I can also make it an italics if I want to. I can underline it. I can even go ahead and give it a background highlight if I wish to. Now, I don't wish to do that, so I'll just undo that. But you can use this floating toolbar to go ahead and quickly add small formatting tweaks to your content. You know, when you are working in long pieces of content, you want to make small formatting tweaks. This floating toolbar is perfect for that case. Now, I want to insert an image right after this paragraph about the arrival to the ice scales. Now, to do so, I can do it in two ways. Now, I want to insert an image right after the paragraph about the arrival into the ice caves. To insert an image, I can do so in two ways. I can do it the traditional way, which is to just go ahead and click on the image icon in the toolbar. And I can select an image and click on done and the image gets inserted in. Or I'll show you the other way you can do it. Let's say I want to insert an image of the insides of the ice caves. I can just click on the enter key on my keyboard out here. And now I'll use a slash command menu to insert the image instead. So I'll just search for image and I'll select an image of the insides of the ice caves and boom, we've inserted an image. So that's two ways to insert images. Now I want to give you a preview of full screen mode. To launch full screen mode, simply click on the full screen mode button out here in the second toolbar. And you'll immediately notice that you've got this more immersive editing and reading experience similar to Google Docs or, you know, Microsoft Word. And this is perfect for when you want to just read all of your long form content, which is potentially going into an article or if you want to just, you know, have no distractions. This is the perfect experience to use. So that's a walkthrough of the new WYSIWYG editor experience. I'm super excited to see how you'll use it. And if you have any feedback or any ideas, Please feel free to schedule a feedback call with me. I've put my Calendly link in the description below. And if you can't make it to a video call, don't worry. You can also go ahead and use our feedback form where you can just describe the feature you're looking for or the frustrations you're having with our WYSIWYG editor. And not just that, if you just want to go ahead and share general feedback for the platform or if there are any other problems you're experiencing, you can use this feedback form for it as well or just schedule a call with me. Thank you so much for listening. Take care. Cheers. Goodbye.